This is not financial advice, not legal advice, for entertainment and educational purposes only, and anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube album stuff. So you get the videos I put them out. See what I'm thinking, see me analyzing that data. But like I tell every day, the data they release us is false. I'm going to give us a false narrative of the market so we can make bad trading decisions. Listen, GME is still highly manipulated, okay? And anybody who says different is not paying attention. I believe that GME has the potential to squeeze before AMC just because of everything I'm looking at, the, the DRS shares, the days to cover. So I think GME is a little bit more dangerous at this point for a short squeeze. Okay? That's just my opinion. I'm not telling you to buy or hold or sell GME. You need to do your own DD and come to your own conclusions. But... I believe GME has a high potential to squeeze before AMC, and that's just my opinion. Okay, GME volume 2,824,543. They're still reporting 48.06% of the flow is DRS. I believe those numbers are a whole lot higher. That's just my opinion. Do I have any factual data to back that up? No, I don't, but... Too many retail investment DS, DRS in their shares, and there's no way that number has stayed consistent for the past year. Okay, totally impossible. The calls in the money is 4,766. And at $20, that's another 29,765 calls in the money. Just like what I tell you about AMC, the calls mean absolutely nothing because they, they, they got the stock in a chokehold. They really do. And they create unlimited counterfeit shares so they can do what they want. So call options mean absolutely nothing. But here's the crazy part. Fintel is reporting that 60,104,977 GME shares are available to short. This is mathematically impossible. I don't know where, get, where they get these numbers from. It's absolutely crazy. But here's the other thing which tells me that GME can squeeze at any time. The days to cover, their report is 27.97 days to cover. Do you know how much a stock would run if it took them almost a month to cover their short positions? Do you know what the price would be? The price would be out of this world. It would be past the moon if they needed almost 28 days to cover their short positions. I mean, the numbers just tell me that GME has a potential to squeeze before AMC, just based on the data. And the thing is this, if they're giving us this data, you know the numbers are really a whole lot worse. Okay? <laughs> and that is just my opinion from three years watching this market, watching the biggest financial crimes in the history of this planet. And I know that the numbers that they released us are not as bad as the real numbers. So it's probably 40 days <laughs> for them to close their, their short positions. Anyway, 64.2% of the volume was shorted shares. So like 1,900,000 more or less of the volume was shorted shares. Absolutely crazy. No idea where these shares are coming from. Of course, we'll never see the blue sheets. We'll never know where they originate. We'll never see the chain of custody because, in my opinion, it does not exist. Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. With 27.97 days to cover their short positions, their short positions, how high could GME theoretically go if they need like a month to close their shorts? Anyway, have a great day. God bless, and I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.